Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the light emitting diode that is LED. Let's see what is light emitting diode. A light emitting diode is an optical semiconductor device that emits the light when the voltage is applied. It converts electrical energy into the light energy. This is called as a LED. Light emitting diode emit either visible light or invisible infrared light when forward voltage is applied, forward biasing. The LEDs which emit the invisible infrared light are used for the remote controllers. Okay, this is about the LED. If you see the LED symbol, this is the symbol of the LED which is having the anode as well as a cathode. This is the emitting light emitting symbol. There are two arrows in between. It is normal. It is looking like normal PN junction diode only. This we have to add two arrows upside which emits the electricity symbol. It's quite com uh, comparable to the normal general purpose diode with the only big difference being its capability em emit the light in the different colors. It is same as PN junction diode only, but one extra capability is which uh, emits the light in the different colors. The two terminals, anode and cathode of the LED, when connected to the voltage source in the correct polarity, may produce the lights of different colors as per the semiconductor substance used in it. Here, yeah, this is a uh, light emitting diode. Uh, uh, if you see the uh, biasing here, we are giving the supply positive to the P type semiconductor and the negative to the N type semiconductor. Okay, now here we are as it is forward uh, positive is connected to P type semiconductor and negative is connected to N type semiconductor. That's why it is called as a forward bias of the light emitting diode. A light emitting diodes are semiconductor light sources that combine a P type semiconductor and with the N type semiconductor with a large uh, electron concentration, but in the P type larger hole concentration. Applying a sufficient forward voltage will cause the electron and holes to recombine at the junction and releasing the energy in the form of light. Here, if you see the in P type, the majority carriers are holes and the in N type, majority carriers are electrons. These holes and the electrons combine together, the recombine at the PN junction and releasing the energy in the form of light. That is the main principle of the light emitting diode. Here, positive charge carrier from the P type and negative charge carrier from the N type recombine together at the junction and the, this releases some energy in the form of light. Releasing the energy in the form of light compared with the conventional light sources, the first uh, it convert electrical energy to the heat and then it convert into the light. That is a normal light sources. But in case of the LED light emitting diode, it converts electrical energy directly to the light delivering a efficient light generation with little wastage of the electricity. That's why we will get the less electricity bills if we use the LED bulbs. In the LED, it converts directly to the electrical energy to the light energy only. That's why the wastage of the electricity is very less compared to the normal electrical lights. In the normal electrical light, first it will convert into heat energy. After that, it is converted into the light energy. But in case of LED, it, it will directly convert electrical energy to the light energy only. That's why the electricity consumption is very less in case of light emitting diodes. If you see the biasing of the LED here, uh, positive terminal is given to the P type and the negative terminal is connected to the N type. The safe forward bias rating of the most of the LEDs are in between 1 volt to 3 volt. And the forward current rating is from 20 milli amperes to the 100 milli amperes. This is the safe voltage and current ratings of the light emitting diodes. However, if the voltage applied to the LEDs increase to their value greater than 3 volts, the depletion region in the LED breakdown and the electric current suddenly rises. This sudden rise in the current may destroy the device. If we increase the voltage beyond 3 volts, the depletion region decreases and the current increases drastically suddenly. The resistor placed between the LED and the voltage source is called as a current limiting resistor. This resistor RS is called as a current limiting resistor. To avoid this, we need to place a resistor in series with the LED. Here, this sudden increasing the current may destroy the device. 
to protect from this condition, we are using one resistor connected in series with the LED. This resistor is called as a color current limiting resistor. If any currents increases suddenly because of this condition, this resistor will protect the this LED. Okay, from the over currents, this resistor will be protected. This resistor will be protect the LED from the over currents. Now, if you see the current flowing through the LED is mathematically written as here IF forward current is equal to VS minus VD divided by RS. Okay, it is VD. Vs minus Vd divided by Rs. Here, IF is called as a forward current and Vs is called as a source voltage or the supply voltage and Vd is called as a voltage drop across the LED and the Rs is called as a resistor or current limiting resistor. From the over currents, we can protect the LED from this resistor. Okay, now if you see the voltage and current characteristics of the LED, see here it is a forward voltage and it is a forward current. It is a forward voltage is indicated by VF and the forward current is IF here. Oh yeah, so it is up to this point, there is no conduction. After this point, it starts conducting from this position. Okay, it is same as PN junction diode only. If you see, if you have increased the uh, voltage continuously there are different colors we will get in the led if you see the led with the different colors here so if you increase the voltage up to this point we will get the infrared color and and again if you increase the voltage further we will get the red color here and after that it is amber and yellow green blue white like this we will get the different colors if you increase the supply voltage continuously Okay, so the based on the supply voltage, we will get the different colors. Okay, with the uh, the based on the vo voltage and the current supply voltage, the current will also increases. This is about the voltage and current characteristics of LED light emitting diode. If you see the output characteristics of the LED here, this output light will be based on the forward current. If the forward current increases, the output light also increases. Both are in the linear way. Okay, this is about the light emitting diode. The advantage of light emitting diode is we will get the less power. Okay, the power wastage is very low. Okay, that's why uh, the light emitting diodes are very useful. This is about the light emitting diodes. In the next class, we will discuss the more topics.